Hey everybody, it's Hexa, and today's video is going to be my April favorites video. I'm sorry again for not posting that much recently, but you know, I've got exams coming up in less than one week. So I've been super, super busy and just studying a lot and I haven't really had a lot of time to focus on YouTube, but I promise that as soon as exams are over, I'm gonna do my best to start posting as often as I possibly can. So you guys have that to look forward to. Also, just a quick note, this month's favorites are mostly probably things that you've already seen before on my channel because since I've been studying so much, I haven't really been taking as many modeling jobs and that sort of thing that I usually do. So I haven't been making that much money and I haven't been buying a lot of new things. So most of what I'm showing you today is stuff that has been on my channel before or that I've had for a while now. But I think that's okay because, you know, going back to old products that you love is always a really fun experience and it's not really necessary to constantly be buying new things because I probably already have enough makeup in my collection to last my entire lifetime, but I still want more because there's just so many beautiful colors out there. What do I do? You know, but anyways, please enjoy today's video and I hope that you guys won't be too bored by seeing the same products again. My first favorite of the month is this Lancome blush. It's called the Lancome Blush Subtil. It is delicate, oil-free powder blush, and the shade is A Plum. It looks like this. It's got a little mirror on top, and the shade of the blush is very purpley. It's a really nice dusty purple shade and I use this a lot when I want a contoured look but I don't really want to actually do my contour. So this is the blush that I'm wearing today actually. And since it's a little bit purpley and a little bit darker rather than just like a pure pink blush, um, it does give you a little bit of a contoured effect. So this is great for your little lazy days when you want contour and blush but you only want to use one thing. My next favorite of the month is this Got To Be Hairspray by Schwarzkopf. It's the Happy Hour All Nighter Hairspray. I really love the packaging of this and I love th just the colors and the smell. Everything about this is great. It has pretty strong hold and it also doesn't really feel that sticky. Um, and this is basically the thing that I've been using most this month for hairstyling and all that kind of thing. This is another thing that has been in my favorites before. It's the Got To Be Freeze Up um, hair gel, but I haven't been using this for my hair. I've been using this for my eyebrows. As you've probably noticed already, my eyebrows are a little bit red today. And this is what I've been using for that. Basically, I use this and I kind of brush it upwards through my eyebrows and then it makes my brows a little bit sticky and then I press eyeshadow into it. I kind of want to do a tutorial for this just in case you guys are interested, just in case you want to try out this like colorful eyebrows look. So yeah, this is the thing that I've been using to get that effect, but basically any good hair gel will do the trick. Next is the Urban Decay Urban Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. Unsurprisingly, this is pretty new in my collection and I'm super, super happy to have it. It is gorgeous. Um, and I was using this mostly towards the beginning of the month. To, towards the end of the month, I kind of switched to some other eyeshadow palettes, but so far I'm really, really loving it. My only complaint is the fallout. There is so much fallout from this, but aside from that, the pigmentation and everything is really beautiful. So love this palette. Just beware of fallout. Two more favorite eyeshadow palettes for this month are the Sugar Pill Edward Scissorhands palette and the Sugar Pill Sparkle Baby palette. Both of these were kind of in a palette appreciation day post on my Instagram. By the way, in case you weren't up to date, I do have Instagram now, so super exciting. Both of these are up there. Um, and yeah, I've been using both of these a lot this month. I've kind of been going back to the Edward Scissorhands one, and ever since I got the Sh Sugar Pill Sparkle Baby palette, I have been using this so much. So both of these are big favorites. The only reason why I don't use the Edward Scissorhands palette that much is because it's limited edition, and I know, I know for a fact that if any of the shades in this run out anytime soon, it is going to break my heart in 10 million teeny tiny pieces. So that's the only reason why I don't use this 
like every single day. Um, one of the shades in here, Heart Shaped Cookie, over here on the background, um, is the perfect base shade. Like, you know how you're supposed to put down like a kind of neutral uh, looking shadow before your other eyeshadows? Heart Shaped Cookie from this palette is perfect for that. And I was using it a lot, but I stopped using it that much and I've tried to replace it with something else because, as I said, limited edition and I do not want this to run out. I love it so much. And usually this is what I do. Like if I love something a lot, I use it sparingly because I don't want it to be gone. But yeah, Edward Scissorhands palette and Sparkle Baby palette, both of these are fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I love them so much, so much. And my last favorite eyeshadow palette for this month is also, unsurprisingly, the Kat Von D Mevita Loca Remix palette. Again, this is also limited edition, and I've put a little bit of, like, masking tape over here because it... I complained about this when I presented it first to you guys, is that it kind of slides out very easily, so I've stuck it down and now it doesn't slide out anymore, so super convenient. But yeah, this is another one that I've been using a lot this month just because I've really gotten into the bright colors and all that stuff, so... This has been a favorite this month, especially for doing my eyebrow colors all fun and funky. Um, so yeah, I did pink eyebrows once and I used the shade Swoon, and today I'm wearing Destroyer for my brows. Okay, and my last favorite product for this month is the MAC Limited Edition Dita Von Teese Lipstick. This is the lipstick that I'm wearing on my lips today along with the MAC Cherry Lip Liner. This is so gorgeous. Like, Dita Von Teese is a beautiful woman and her face is plastered all over this box. Just look at that packaging. Isn't that gorgeous? And then when you open it up, the inside of the box is red because Dita Von Teese loves red and red lipstick and all that. And this is the tube that the lipstick comes in. Most of the MAC tubes are a matte black with like a little bit of shimmer or glitter in it, but this is like a nice glossy black without any glitter. And it has her name, Dita Von Teese, all around it. And then this is what the lipstick looks like inside. Again, it has her name written on it, which is just such a cool detail. Um, and the smell of this is very similar to the usual scent of MAC lipsticks, but it has a little bit more of a musk scent to it, which in case you didn't know, musk is something that is secreted by animals. It's one of those things that like when people or animals smell it, it makes them really turned on. So like, of course, Dita Von Teese would do something like that because she's sexy as hell. So. This is a very sexy lipstick. I love it. It's fabulous. However, in terms of formula, it's a little bit too creamy for my taste. I love the color of it. I love the smell of it. I love the packaging and everything about it, but it's a little, little bit too creamy. So the wear time is not as long or as good as a slightly more matte lipstick. So compared to this, I still slightly prefer Russian Red by MAC in terms of the wearing time and like the formula and everything. Not that many favorites for today, I'm sorry. This is kind of a short video, but that's okay because people have been complaining that some of my makeup tutorials are way too long and I know that my favorites videos can also get pretty long, so right now I'm at 10 minutes and 30 seconds. It's pretty good. Um, there, see, I'm improving. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know which of these favorites you liked the most and if you have any of these and if you have any questions about any of these, please leave a comment down below or message me on my Facebook page. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I have some tutorials and stuff coming up. I have some ideas and things that I want to show you. So don't worry. It's coming. It's coming soon. And by the way, to anyone who is Orthodox Christian and celebrated Easter on Sunday, Happy Easter. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I got a set of eyeliners from Sephora for Easter from the Easter Bunny. So that will probably be in a review kind of thing soon-ish. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!